Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers. Wednesday nights are time for our weekly segment, Veteran Salute. It's our chance to honor heroes from our area and thank them for their service. Tonight, 27 News reporter Matthew Johnstone introduces us to Marine Corps and Navy vet Lucky Town. Chief Petty Officer Lucky Town served under not just one, but two branches in the military for a total of 24 and a half years of service. Abroad and at home, he brought his skill set and a can-do attitude wherever need be. Inspired by an unlikely source, Lucky joined up with the Marine Corps in the early 60s. My history teacher was a Marine, and he fought on Okinawa. And us uh, guys in the history class, we all love history, but we get on the topic of Marine Corps, the class, the class was over. As a truck driver, Lucky transported vital supplies like food and ammo to outposts and base camps across Vietnam. Corporal Lucky received that nickname from surviving an incident during his second tour. I had a, a machine gunners on my truck. I was six truck back and I hit a landmine. I landed out in the rice paddy and there were several guys killed on it. But uh, I just lost my hearing for a while. Even after that injury, his commitment to finishing the job stayed strong. His time in the military didn't end with his service overseas, though. Well, I was down there trying to pay working, and this guy comes up to me and he says, uh, what do you think about the Joint Navy and Reserve? So we went down there and, and listened, and to the recruiter and everything, he said, well, we've got to give, give you a test. I said, okay. Well, the test was done concrete. I was pouring concrete all the time. So the test was pretty simple. With an aptitude in handiwork and construction already, Lucky would become a chief petty officer with the Navy, where he'd lead projects all across the country. I was over my men when we went to uh, Bennington, Georgia. Uh, they had a bunch of projects, and I, I had to uh, make sure that everybody was doing their thing and everything. And then uh, one year, they, my last year, they sent me to Hawaii, and they wanted me to pour missile pads, two missile pads. Other projects the chief oversaw included building military offices and conference rooms, putting on the finishing touches for warehouses and roofs on buildings. That leadership throughout his service led him to earning quite the prestigious award. In 1986, they uh, gave me a state of the beer. Our master chief come down here from uh, Kansas City, and he told the chief, he said, uh, I want the guy that's the most busiest around here. And he said, well, that's town. His nickname and skill set transitioned into his civilian life as well. He'd operate Lucky's Construction in Topeka for 54 years. Working for you, Matthew Johnstone. 27 News. We highlight veterans in our community every week, just like Luckily. So if you know someone we could feature in this segment, please check the Veteran Salute section at KSNT.com. Plus, sharing their story isn't the only way we honor these heroes, because each week the featured vet receives a gift. Take a look. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyers, we're honored to recognize this week's veteran who served our country in the United States Marine Corps and the United States Navy and obtained the rank of Chief Petty Officer. Chief Petty Officer Lucky Town, thank you for your service, sir. I want to thank Devon James for doing this for veterans and for the ones that are still serving and the ones that uh, retired. Well yes, said. Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers.